Today, two local high schools look to advance in the Lakeshore PBS annual academic tournament that we call Making the Grade. Who will push out of this opening round match? Will it be Valparaiso or Chesterton? Sure should be a good one. I'm looking forward to it. It's just moments away on this edition of Making the Grade. From safer communities, to admirable performances. We power Northern Indiana, so you can do what moves you. It's season number nine of the Lakeshore PBS annual academic tournament that we call Making the Grade. I'm your host, Andy Schultz, and today eight of the best and brightest in Northwest Indiana look to push their team into the next round of our academic tournament. What's at stake for the tournament winner? Well, of course, the coveted Making the Grade championship trophy, as well as scholarship money generously provided by NIPSCO. Who will it be in this opening round match? And it's a Goliath of a matchup, Valparaiso or Chesterton. Couple of past champions in this opening round. I'm looking forward to it. We'll have a chance to meet our contestants a little bit later in the game, but we're gonna get this one started right now with our first round that we call questions and answers. It's pretty simple. I give the questions, you give the answers. Five points for a correct response. There's no penalty for an incorrect response. We'll just give the other team a chance at those five points. All right, let's play the game. Five point clue coming your way right now, hands on buzzers. The Civil War began with bombardment of what fort? Tim from Valparaiso. Fort Sumter. Fort Sumter, yes, off the coast of Charleston, South Carolina. First five go to Valpo, and here comes another five-pointer. What literary medal, similar to the Newberry, is given only to children's picture books? Drew from Chesterton. Pulitzer. It is not the Pulitzer. Valpo, Tim. Caldecott. Yes, Caldecott medal. Five more for Valpo, you're up to 10. What male part of a flower contains both a filament and an anther? Drew from Chesterton. Stamen. Yes, stamen, first five for Chesterton in the game. You have the deficit. Here's another five pointer. The, liter the literacy test, long used in the South to keep blacks from voting, prevented people from voting who couldn't do what? Sam from Valparaiso. Read. Read, correct, five points for Valpo. You're up to 15. This man's general, Hernando de Soto, later explored the Mississippi River. Name this Spanish conquistador who took over the city of Cusco. Josh from Chesterton. Pizarro. Yes, Francisco Pizarro, five points for Chesterton. And here's, here comes another five pointer. What objects used by someone for drawing have grades that range from 8B to 9H, Sam from Valparaiso. Pencils. Pencils range from 8B to 9H, five points for Valpo. Except for Chile and Ecuador, every country in South America borders what? Tim from Valparaiso. Brazil. Yes, the largest country there, Brazil, five more for Valpo. In Greek mythology, what creature that was half man lived Brandon from Chesterton. The Minotaur? Yes, Minotaur had lived in the labyrinth, five for Chesterton. This ruler bought what he called Queen's House that later became Buckingham Palace. Name this British king whose 60 years on the throne resulted in the loss of England's American colonies. Josh from Chesterton. George III. Yes, King George III, five more for Chesterton. Great game so far played by both teams, we keep rolling. What part of the human body does a dermatologist study? Sam from Valparaiso. Skin. Skin is correct, an important organ, five points for Valpo. The class of what simple machine is determined by where the fulcrum is placed? Brandon from Chesterton. A lever? Yes, lever for five points for Chesterton. What two word economic term can describe oil, gold, or trees that can be sold and used? Tim from Valparaiso. Natural resources? Yes, natural resources. The exact answer, five points from Valparaiso, for Valparaiso. 
Name the food made from dried corn and often made into grits in the South. Brandon from Chesterton. Cornmeal. It is not cornmeal. Alparaiso. Go ahead, Tim. Hash browns. Not hash browns. It was hominy. Hominy there. All right, another five pointer coming your way. Name the type of orbit where a planet spins in one direction but goes around the sun the other direction. Drew from Chesterton. Retrograde. Yes, they call that a retrograde orbit. Five points for Chesterton. Nice job. The words cosmopolis, acropolis, and geopolitics all include the Greek word pol root polis, which means what drew from Chesterton? City. Yes, a four-letter noun in English. City, five points for Chesterton. Give the numerical meaning of the Greek root mono used. Sam from Valparaiso. One. One, correct, using the English words monocle and monochromatic. That is the end of our first round of play, and as you can see by the score, it's a tight one, 40 to 35. Great game so far. We're gonna put a bookmark in it, though. Take a moment to meet our contestants. Starting on the Valparaiso side with a junior, James. James, your favorite uh, subject, I'm guessing, is math. You yes. like Roger Federer, your favorite tennis player, right? Mm -hmm. And you like the New England Patriots and the movie It's a Wonderful Life. I mean, you yes. got, that's a, that's a wide range of, of likes. Tell me about Roger Federer. How did you get into him? Roger Federer, well, I'm an avid tennis player myself. Sure. So I grew up kind of watching the greats play, and I saw Roger, Roger Federer kind of make his debut mm -hmm. and grow into the tennis champion he is today. Is he still the best right now? I would say in so. In your opinion, I yes. would say is so. Is he like number one in the world still? He uh, should be. He's somewhere up All there, right. yeah. <laughs> That's good, James. Good luck the rest of the game. Great to meet you. Ethan is a junior at Valparaiso High School. Your favorite book is 1984. Yes. I want to ask you this because it's actually my favorite as well. What, yes. what, what speaks to you in that one? Um, I just kind of like how it speaks on the dystopian era that we, sure. was being experienced during the time you wrote the book. and just how similar it is to kind of the society we have right now. It's a little scary yeah. sometimes, isn't it? It is. A lot yeah. of uh, surveillance maybe from our technology <laughs> companies. Ethan, great job so far in the game. Good luck the rest of the way. Sam is a junior at Valpo. Your favorite TV show is Making the Grade. That's Absolutely. what you said. Now I have to say, are you being sarcastic here? It's a very good show. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite too. Would you binge watch it? Uh, if we were on Netflix? If, if we were on Netflix, yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. All right. Yes. All right. Don't lie, Sam. <laughs> All right, it's your favorite. I believe you. I definitely believe you. Hey, Sam, good luck the rest of the game. Glad you're here. Tim is a senior at Valparaiso, and you were going to study uh, next year in South Bend, University of Notre Dame. What drew you there? I was looking for something fairly local, so that was relatively close. Sure. Not too close. What do you want to study? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm looking at history right now, but okay. we'll see. Hopefully that doesn't impact any strategy the rest of the game. <laughs> Don't give it away. Yeah, exactly. Great. Well, good luck to the Valparaiso team the rest of the way. They are coached by Chantel Melkai. I'm on the Chesterton side talking to Matthew, who is a senior, and uh, you're going to attend IU Bloomington next year. Yes. Kelly School of Business. Yep. So what is it you want to do? Well, I'm going to become an accountant. Yeah. And then, well, it's what my dad and my grandpa did. So I, that's just what I was going to do, just going to follow in their footsteps. You like deadlines. You get to work really hard up to April 15th. And then yep. after that, <laughs> take a vacation, right? Yeah. Or there's corporate tax time after that. Yeah. No, it never yeah. ends. Yeah. Are you sure you want to do that? It's kind of like school. You that's know? right. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, great to meet you. Glad you're here. Drew is a junior at Chesterton. This is interesting. You said your favorite number is 31.4. Is that just random or is there an explanation? No, it's like, it's just such a good number. It's a great number. And it's also I mean, like, if you round pi and then multiply by 10, you know. Totally, yeah. that's definitely what I was thinking. And then me and Brandon have the same number, so. Coincidence, yeah. did you fill out your bio sheets next to each other? Uh, definitely not. All right, all right. <laughs> well, Drew, glad you're here. Good luck the rest of the Thank game. You. Brandon is a senior and your favorite number, as we just heard, is 31.4. Yeah. Uh, and you're going to attend USC. We're talking like Southern California. Yeah. So what, what, what brings you out there? So unlike Tim, I wanted to go somewhere far away. So yeah, yeah. Southern California seemed <laughs> you, like the best option. You don't like Northwest Indiana? Uh, I mean, the weather's great and all, but like, I kind of need a break. It kinda, the weather stinks in Los Angeles, I've heard. 
Yeah, always sunny, always warm. Yeah, that's Sounds horrible. Like a terrible place. Horrible, horrible. Glad you're here, Brandon. Good luck with all of that. Good luck in LA. Josh is a junior at Chesterton. You enjoy singing, hiking, biking. Uh, you're part of the musical theater. Yes, sir. What, what's your favorite production? Favorite production? That's difficult. Put you on the spot. Oh, that's hard. Uh, Sound of Music was Sound fun music. to be in. Sure. But if I'm watching one, I might have to say Little Shop 4 is another one that I was also in. Awesome. Well, very good. Good to meet you. Good to see you again this year. The Chesterton squad is coached by Chris Hackett. All right. Back to the game. More points coming up here in our second round. It's called Pop Quiz. It's everybody's favorite. You walk into class. You didn't get a chance to prepare, and it's time for a pop quiz. This is a one-on-one -on -one competition. It'll be Tim versus Josh, Brandon and Sam, Ethan versus Drew, Matthew and James. We'll cycle back around again. No pressure, though. Only five points for each of these. Still no penalty for an incorrect response. All right, here we go. This is for Tim and Josh, hands-on buzzers. Name the tube, connecting your throat with your stomach. Tim from Valparaiso. The esophagus? Yes, esophagus for five for Valpo. Sam and Brandon for you. Which eastern capital city, served by Logan International Airport, is home to Harvard University and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology? Sam from Valpo. Boston. Boston is correct, and I'm not going to try my Boston accent. It is horrible. Drew and Ethan, this one is for you. Maybe I'll read this question in that accent. I'm definitely not going to do that. Drew and Ethan. What classic horror stories characters include Mina Harker and Dr. Van Helsing, who chases vampires? Drew from Chesterton. Dracula. Dracula is correct, 5-4 Chesterton. Matthew and James, a five-pointer for you. This family's most famous brother founded the Peace Corps as president before being killed by Lee Harvey Oswald in 1963. Name this. Matthew from Chesterton. The Kennedy family? Yes, that is correct. The Kennedy family, the Massachusetts family. We have a little theme here going on with the Northeast. All right. Tim and Josh, this one is for you. King Arthur had one of these called Rungamayan. Odin's version of this weapon would always hit an enemy, no matter how badly it was thrown. Josh from Chesterton. Hammer? It is not a hammer. I'll finish it for Tim. Name this sharp weapon whose javelin type is thrown in the Olympics. They're, gonna, they're looking for a spear in this case. Brandon and Sam, I don't know, maybe if I pronounce things correctly, that probably would have helped. All right, Brandon and Sam, the western end of US Highway 50, considered the loneliest road in America, goes through what capital city of Nevada? Sam from Valparaiso. Carson City. Carson City is the capital of Nevada. Nice job, Sam. Five more for Valpo. Ethan and Drew, this one is for you. In the novel Johnny Tremaine, what real life Boston, again Boston, what real life Boston silversmith wants to give Johnny Drew from Chesterton? Paul Revere. Paul Revere is correct. Five more for Chesterton. Five point game. Nice job from both teams here. James and Matthew for you. On a color wheel, two complementary colors have what position on a color wheel with respect to each other? Matthew from Chesterton. Opposite. They are exactly opposite each other. Five points for Chesterton. Back to Josh and Tim. The recent movie, Viceroy's House, tells how England granted India its independence. As part of the deal, the country of Pakistan was created from Indian states where a majority of people followed what religion? Josh from Chesterton. Islam. Yes, they were Muslim. That is correct. Five points for Chesterton. Sam and Brandon, this one is for you. The discontinuity between the mantle and the core is named for what German scientist who had nothing to do with inventing the printing press? It's tricky. The Gutenberg discontinuity. The answer there, nothing to do with the printing press. That Gutenberg. Drew and Ethan, there's a five-pointer coming your way for you here. In what country is meat often served tandoori or vindaloo? Drew from Chesterton. India. India is correct. Tandoori food in India. Five points for Chesterton. You're up to 65. Give the term for the moving sidewalk that travels between floors of a department store. James from Valparaiso. Escalator. Yes, 
It's always a convenience. It can never be broken. You can just climb it. Nice job. Five points there for Valparaiso. Last five point clue of this round. What percussion instrument whose outside circle is wooden is usually shaken in time with the music? Josh from Chesterton. Maracas? Not maracas. Tim? Tambourine. Tambourine is correct, and that's the end of two rounds of play. And look at the scoreboard now. We are tied at 65 points apiece. A good game played here by both teams, and I'm looking forward to this round. Points coming up aplenty here in our third round that we call Class Project. All right, we're back together. Everybody's in as a team here. Hands on buzzers, everybody will be back in. However, I will read three clues that all point toward one answer. If somebody from either side can give me the correct answer after the first clue, it's worth 30 points. It's a big one. If I read two clues, it's worth 20. If I read all three clues, it's only worth 10. Each team can take a shot at each of those point levels. All right, here we go. Everybody's back in. Social studies, the category, and here's a 30-point clue, one of three. It began after traitor John Oldham was killed by Indians in what is now Connecticut. Matthew from Chesterton. French and Indian War. It is not the French and Indian War. Tim from Valpo. King Philip's War. It is not King Philip's War. I'll give you the 20 point clue. Everybody's back in. Its major and final battle came at Mystic when British troops set an Indian village on fire and then shot the Indians who tried to flee. Brandon from Chesterton. The War of 1812. It is not the War of 1812. Valpo, want to take a shot? 10 point clue, same answer. This conflict of the 1630s is named for the tribe of Connecticut Indians who fought the Puritans. Drew from Chesterton. Iroquois War. It is not the Iroquois War. Ethan Valpo. Wanami War. Uh, that's incorrect. It was the Pequot War. <laughs> I only know because it's here, so <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> Woo. All right, here we go. Three more clues. Uh, pointing toward one answer. The category here is literature. The main characters of Milan Kundera's The Unbearable Lightness of Being named their female dog for its title character's husband. We in time? Nope, sorry James, just behind. 20 point clue. Count Vronsky attempts to seduce Kitty before going to Italy with its Drew from Chesterton. Dracula. It is not Dracula. I'll finish this 20 point clue for Valparaiso. Attempt, uh, Count Vronsky attempts to seduce Kitty before going to Italy with its title character, his mistress, and their illegitimate daughter, Annie. James from Valpo. Harry. Uh, incorrect, 10 point clue, everybody's back in. This Leo Tolstoy novel begins, all happy families are alike. Josh from Chesterton. War and Peace. Uh, it is not War and Peace. I'll finish it for Valparaiso. The novel begins, all happy families are alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Anna Karenina. Again, it's on the card. Wouldn't have known it either. Don't worry. All right, three more clues, one answer. Science is the category here. 30 point clue. The fractional type of this process is used, Brandon from Chesterton. Distillation. That is correct. Distillation, 30 points for Chesterton, a big blow there. So we had all those wrong responses and it took five words for Brandon to pull out 30 points there. All right, nice job there, uh, Chesterton advancing on in that round. But you know what that means, it's time for our final round, it's called Final Exam. Points aplenty here in this round. There are six categories, as you can see up on the board. There are uh, five questions each worth 15, 20, 25, and 30 points respectively. We will answer them in that order. The team that will control the board during the game is the one that last answered correctly, except for this first choice, which is gonna go to Valparaiso. You trail right now by 30. Give me a 10 point clue and a category you'd like to start with. Uh, we'll try, what do you want? Okay. Math. For math. Time. All right. Ten points in the category math. Pencil and paper ready on these in this category. Solve the following. Three times four plus five squared minus six. 
Drew from Chesterton. 31. Yes, 31. First 10 points of the round go to Chesterton. You control the board. You can stay with math for 15 or go somewhere else. Uh, we'll go to spelling. Spelling it is. 10 points in that category. Spell the word principle. Drew from Chesterton. P-R-I-N-C-I-P-L-E. That's correct, and you picked the right one, and that was a good guess because, yes, in the sentence, it's not the money, it's the principle of the thing. Yes, 10 points for Chesterton. Sigh of relief, and it's your board. What would you like to do? Uh, astronomy for 10. Astronomy, a 10-point clue in a new category. This object's Expedition 60 crew is scheduled to leave Earth in the summer of 2019. Sam from Valparaiso. Space shuttle. It is not the space shuttle. Chesterton? Matthew. The International Space Station. Yes, the ISS for 10 points for Chesterton. You control the board. What would you like to do? Uh, 11 letter words. 11 letter words, a 10 point clue in that category. A small single wheeled vehicle that is used to move loads. Drew from Chesterton. Wheelbarrow. Yes, wheelbarrow has 11 letters in it. You control the board. What would you like to do? Uh, Eiffel Tower for 10. Eiffel Tower, 10 point clue in that category. Built for the 1889 World's Fair in Paris, the tower is celebrating this anniversary in 2019. Drew from Chesterton. 200 years. Uh, incorrect. James? 130 years. Yes, just a little math, right? 2019 minus 1889. 10 points for Valpo. You control, what would you like to do? Eiffel Tower 15. Eiffel Tower 15 will keep going. The 1889 date was chosen to mark 100 years since this event in French history. Ethan from Valparaiso. Bastille Day. Uh, incorrect. Chesterton drew. French Revolution. Yes, the French Revolution specifically. 15 points for Chesterton. Your board, what would you like to do? Uh, econ. Econ, a new category. 10 points in that category. Give the term for what a company has when it hasn't made enough of a popular item. Drew from Chesterton. Uh, assets. Uh, incorrect. Valpo, James. Shortage. Shortage is correct for 10 points. You control. What would you like to do? Eiffel Tower for 20. Eiffel Tower 20. This American inventor visited the tower and gave Eiffel one of his phonographs. And congratulations. Tim from Valparaiso. Edison. Yes, Thomas Edison, 20 points. Valpo, you control. Eiffel Tower 25. 25, Eiffel Tower. After the tower was done, it was the tallest building in the world until the US. Josh from Chesterton. Empire State Building. Uh, it is not the Empire State Building. I'll finish it for Valparaiso. It was the tallest building in the world until, the, until this U.S. building eclipsed it in 1930. James. Sears Tower. It was not the Sears Tower. It was the Chrysler Building. Valpo, you control. Uh, Eiffel Tower for 30. We'll wipe out the category with a 30 in Eiffel Tower. The tower was put together not with screws or bolts, but with these metal objects that required four men to install each one, including one man to heat them up before installation. James from Clamp. Valparaiso. Sorry. Clamps. Not clamps. Chesterton, three minutes to go in the game. Those were rivets. We are done with Eiffel Tower, Valpo. 11-letter uh, words. 11-letter words, 15 in that category. Lewis Carroll poem. Within, through, Drew from Chesterton. Jabberwocky. Yes, Jabberwocky has 11 letters. You get 15 and you control. You're up to 165. It's good as spelling. Spelling, 15 in that category. If you can do most of the math questions on making the grade, you are probably proficient in math. Sam from Valparaiso. P-R-O-F-I-C-I-E-N-T. Yes, you picked the right word to spell. Proficient, 15 for Valparaiso. Spelling for 20. Spelling for 20. Two minutes to go in the game. 20 spelling. If you take a job that pays less than you expected it to pay, you might become disgruntled with your boss. Sam from Valparaiso. D-I-S-G-R-U-N-T-L-E-D. -E yes, disgruntled for 20. 20 for you. Spelling for 25. You trail by 25. This could be the difference. Spelling. Give the correct spelling of the German wiener dog breed. Sam from Valparaiso. W-I-E-N-E-R. Incorrect. Drew from Chesterton. D-A-S-C-H-A-U-N-D. Uh, that's incorrect. Dachshund is D-A-C-H-S-H-U-N-D. German word. Valparaiso, spelling for 30. 
Spell thesaurus. Drew from Chesterton. T-H-E-S-A-U-R-U-S. Yes, that is correct for 30 points with a minute left to go in the game. You have to go somewhere else, Chesterton. We'll go to math for 15. Math for 15. In lowest terms, the ratio of tomato plants to carrot plants in Jana's garden if she has 12 tomato plants and 42 carrot plants. Tim from Valparaiso. Two to seven. Two to seven is correct for 15. Math, math, 20. math for 20, we keep going. Find the sum of the following fractions as a decimal. Six 25ths and two over five cubed. Josh from Chesterton. 0.32. Incorrect, Valparaiso. That's a tough one. 0.256. Goodness, I couldn't do that mentally if I tried. And that is the end of our game and a great one played by both teams. Chesterton, you will advance to our next round of play by a score of 195 to 155. But I'm so impressed with the eight of you. You've both, all done an awesome job. Congratulations to both teams. And we will see you next time on Making the Grade. From Safer Communities, to admirable performances. We power Northern Indiana, so you can do what moves you.